everybody, my name is Erin Brown and I am a Close to My Heart consultant. And today I want to show you how I made this little treat container. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the treat just so you know, um, you know, about size and whatnot. So, um, what it is, is these are um, Oreo Pops and they're what I like to refer to as the lazy version of the cake pop. Um, the cake pops are super cute and I wish I had the patience to do them, but I don't. But this is a double stuffed Oreo covered in white chocolate with sprinkles. It's super, super easy. And um, what you do is take off the top cookie of the Oreo and dip the stick in a little bit of the white chocolate and then put it back inside the Oreo and put the top cookie back on and let that dry a little bit and then you just dip these in the white chocolate and sprinkle them with sprinkles and let them cool and it's as simple as that. I put on a um, treat bag and tied it with some uh, red twine to cover it up. So what I did was I made this this little cover and it actually does stand up um, on its own like that. So let me let me tell you how I did it. And um, what I did was, you know, of course I use double stuff so you can use the regular Oreos too. But what you want to do is is measure your your width and your your height and then get a depth. Now this one in this container was super thick. I, it's got a lot of chocolate on it compared to these two. So it um, bulges just a little bit. But these other two are, are about about even. So um, once I measured, um, I decided that uh, I would do, you know, make this a square. So this is two and three quarters and it's two and three quarters this way. So when I cut it, I cut it at six and a half by two and three quarters. And then I scored it two and three quarters, and then I turned it and scored it two and three quarters. And that leaves about an inch or one inch in the inside. Now you can adjust these measurements based on, you know, whatever size your treats are. So, and then I just took a um, hole punch and I just punched a couple of holes in there so that I could tie some ribbon around it to connect it on. So. And I went ahead and uh, stamped an image. And I used the, uh, let's see, this is Flaky Friends. This is my favorite go-to stamp of the moment. Um, and I just love snow people. I don't, I have a thing for them. So it was, I stamped him in uh, Cocoa Pigment Ink. And let that dry for just a little bit and then I colored with the alcohol markers and um, the colors I use is autumn terracotta for the nose sweet leaf and ruby for the scarf and hat so uh, anyways what what I did was I went ahead and stuck him stuck the the pop, the Oreo pop in here. And I kind of folded these back, depending on what kind of bags you use. You may need to tape that or, you know, just just stick it in. That's what I did. So once it once it's stuck in there like that, I'm I fed the ribbon through these holes like this. And I've got one done already here to make it a little bit easier. So you can see. all that down in there and then I'm just gonna tie that in a knot and I'll trim those in images or those ends I don't have scissors with me here right this second so but it's as simple as that and it makes a cute cute treat and they like I said they stand up all on their own so Thanks for watching and have a great day.